What's up, guys? Your boys are back. I'm Ryan, my man, George. Yeah, man. We're saying, guys, how you living out there, man? Shout out to the free thinkers. And of course, shout out to everybody that's been following us on Def the Radio. That's D E A F number two radio. That's our new Instagram. Make sure you guys follow us there. And as always, make sure you like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you're notified when we drop new music. And up and coming artists, just like the artists in the front of this video, if you will do about 60 seconds of your song in the front of one of our up and coming videos to get you some exposure, make sure you click that link in the description. All right, South Africa, man. Y'all hit us up, man. Get this, this Stogie <laughs> T, uh, Johnny P's, uh, Caddy Freestyle going, man. And um, dude, we, we've been well overdue to get back to, to Stogie T, man. Stogie T, in my personal opinion, is one of the greatest rappers in the world. It's yes, not just, a, oh, he's just nice for South Africa. We said this before. I'm just excited to, to hear what he does on this beat because, you know, this is, the, I, I think that this is still, I don't know how this kind of came up on everyone's tally, <laughs> but that definitely was in a running for probably song of the year for sure. Yeah, I mean, that, that, that was hard. love that song, bang the hell out of it. So let's get into it, man. You know, without further ado, back to Stogie T, knocking out that Johnny P. Caddy freestyle. Let's rock. Warning. The following video contains strong language, which may be offensive to some viewers or inappropriate for children. The content within this video is intended for mature audiences only. A little appreciation. Do you know how easy this is for me? Do you have any fucking idea how easy this is? This is a fucking joke. And I'm sorry you can't do this. I really am because I wouldn't have to fucking sit here and watch you fumble around and fuck it up. Uh. They gossip about me, but what's offending me? They not my pedigree. Pray to God for better enemies. The <laughs> etiquette, when it king enters, it's best that you bend a knee. Certified medically, you must not possess a memory. Turn the scene, it's rappling and debris for popping off at me. They caught it on the meme, one clock made a nigga lean. Time it impeccably, tough guys only want to tweet. Grinding for lunchtime in the subprime economy. For my seeds, not your ornery, starving artist list. As long as it's about rapping, a nigga gonna eat. From the dirt, conjurers, couple tunnel touch enough. Had to earn on the verge of every corner on the earth. From double whopper burgers to pecan, your surf and turf. That ain't your girl, she flirts and call him Papa Smurf for a skirt. They beam you up faster than Captain Kirk. Don't get turned to merch, they put characters on a shirt. Whole continent on my vertebrae, and that don't curve. Broke bastards with a lot to yeah, say. Yeah, like the visual was really helping. Thank you, Stogie. Yeah, <laughs> the visual. <laughs> Having the lyrics on the screen, the visuals, okay, a whole, you know, whole continent on my back and that don't curve, okay? Yeah. Africa obviously has the curve, the continent of Africa has the curve there, you uh -huh. know what I'm saying? But the whole continent is on his back, man, he's, you know what I'm saying? Vertebrae. On his, on his vertebrae, man, yeah. he's, you know, he's, he's leading, the, leading mm -hmm. the, uh, the troops, leading the, the, the squad. Him, Nasty C, and A. Reese, and Pretty Ugly, uh -huh. and, you know, Lyrical Joe, and Am I a Baga? Yeah. You know, we get... We can get into our African bag now. You know what I'm saying? We I'm know we know you, a bro. little something. We still got a lot a lot of artists to explore, but we, you know, we getting up there. So shout out to Stogie T for the Pictionary shit. Thank you. Uh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say um, that these uh, other guys are not my pedigrees? Or I pray to God for for better enemies and shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I give me some competition. Give me some elite bitch. ops, man. You know what I'm saying? I can't even. You know these motherfuckers. This is child's play. Give me some some good competition. Uh, I pray to God. For some better enemies, you know? Yeah. I thought that was a hard little line. I, I really feel like uh that's kind of like a real thing for him. Like from on some rap shit. I just feel like he's just, when I listen to him, I feel like, damn, he is just so far ahead of, of a lot of his competition. I feel like, especially in a, in a burgeoning up and coming yeah. area, you know, of rappers coming up. So I just feel like he just, like I, I've been on my Nas shit. And as a matter of fact, Sto Stogie T <laughs> reminds me of Nas, man, yeah. so much. I'm actually, you know, I'm curious to know who Stogie T's like favorite rapper is. Mm -hmm. I would venture to say it's probably Nas, AZ, somebody yeah. like that because it reminds me of that. But I just feel like Stogie T has been such a student of the game of um, just American hip-hop and just sort of the the essence of this shit. I yeah. can hear it in his writing yeah. that I feel like he just separated himself a long time ago maybe from his competition. So he's just like, man, these dudes taking shots, man. Come on, man. You know what I mean? Y'all just now learning how to rap. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? There was a line that he said at the beginning, George, about being from the dirt, from the mud, like coming from nothing. But then he flipped that with uh, had to earn on every verge of every corner of the earth or something like mm -hmm. that. But that earn, right, being from the dirt, you are in, you mm -hmm. know, when you're cremated, right, you're from the dirt, you know what I'm saying? But he's also from nothing, and he had to earn oh, money, right? Yeah. He's worldwide earning money, E-A-R-N, at every, every corner on the earth, he's worldwide. But I thought that was a cool fucking double entendre yep. with the U R N earn and A, or excuse me, E 
uh, A R N. What do you say? Don't get turned to merch. They put characters on a shirt. <laughs> don't get turned to merch. Don't, don't, don't get turned to merch. You know, with merch, merchandise, right? You mm -hmm. get characters and, you know, letters and everything on a shirt. But no, they put characters. They put R I P. Mm -hmm. They R I P you on a shirt. You know, when you get killed, they put R I P mm -hmm. on it. So that was slick. And um, Stogie T, what did he say? Going into that carpal, carpal tunnel, touch a nerve. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Going into what Ryan just said. So just really, really slick writing in this, as uh, expected in this. But. He's also talking about his come up as well. I mm. mean, that's the thing. You know, I had to earn from every corner on the earth. And he's been traveling. You know what I'm saying? We've seen Stogie in the United States. We've seen him in, in Africa. We, I saw him in Canada. I saw him in a battle league um, for, what is it? Battle league. KOTD. Mm. KOTD. So he's gotten money yeah. in different corners of the earth. You know what I'm saying? To kind of uh, add to that, Ryan. So uh, let's keep it going, though, man. I, I see the slickness as usual with Stogie. Of every corner on the earth, from double whopper burgers to pecan, your surf and turf. That ain't your girl, she flirts and call them Papa Smurf for a skirt. They beam you up faster than Captain Kirk. Don't get turned to merch, they put characters on a shirt. Whole continent on my vertebrae, and that don't curve. Broke bastards with a lot to say. What could your caption hurt? You cast aspersions while the staff at the Saxon servant rapping words to every last one of my classic album versions. I put words to perversions that mirror life in person, single mom. Deserted kids are like a burden. Dinner right for vermin. Winter nights they kill the lights. The chili bite like Durban. Past the sight, the sermon. The bounty of the eternal. The grimy niggas heard them cashing transit in suburban scam card. Turn flash cards to club circuit earnings. Wash winnings and bad pictures and baptisms. Justify sinning a crooked light through a glass prism. For my kin, only price giving is. He's like, while I'm at the Saxon or whatever, like whatever this upscale restaurant is, eating steak and shit, you know, you uh, you know, you sending shots, man. Broke them, them captions don't don't phase anybody, man. Mm -hmm. You broke me online. That's all you can do, right? But I think that at the same time, he's referencing the sort of uh, the hate really is like love misguided, right? Because he said you're still rapping all of, you know, the every fucking rap I ever made and every, all of my classic <laughs> verses, right? But you're still sending shots on Twitter. You hate. I think that he was referencing Pink Floyd when he said it's a crooked light. Through a glass prism. If you mm. if you think about the dark side of the moon, I think it's the dark side of the moon album from Pink Floyd. It was a triangle with a, mm -hmm. a light going through it, right? And I think what that meant. I was reading this the other day. I think that that meant like the the light beam that that's going through the one side of it is meant like to, to represent life, and then the um, the other lines that come on come out the outside, those sort of rainbow lines mm -hmm. that come out the outside, are represents the different paths in life mm. that can can take you. So I just think when he says crooked light. Even though it's a crooked line on the album, I just think that they, it, it's representative of the crooked paths that these guys have to take, maybe to just make it to survive, to prosper, based, based off the environment that yeah. they're in. Maybe that's a reach, yeah. but I think that could be where he was kind of going with that, mm -hmm. which I think is incredible that's if, that's, if, if that's where you know he was taking it. So that was dope. Leave it to Stogie in a two minute and 58 second freestyle, man, yeah. to have us spinning. I thought this was going to be a quick video, man. <laughs> I put words to perversions that mirror life in person. Single mom deserted, kids are like a burden. Dinner right for vermin. Winter nights they kill the lights. The chili bite like Durban. Past the sight, the sermon. The bounty of the eternal. The grimy niggas heard them cashing transit in suburban scam card. Turn flash cards to club circuit earnings. Wash winnings and bad bitches and baptisms. Justify sinning a crooked light through a glass prism for my kin. Only Justify sinning. Yeah. Crooked light. In a glass prism. So that might be where he's yeah. going, right? And I love the imagery right here, man. Wash yeah. winnings and bad, you know, bad women <laughs> and baptisms, you know what I mean? Justify just sinning. Thing. Yeah, that's just super hard, man. Because it really um, kind of puts things in perspective. The way he has the visualization here and what he was saying, it really is true. Because, I mean, I, I don't do things like that, but I always try to, like, see myself in music all the time. And, and when we listen to music, man, and we're listening to this song, you're like, yeah, that's true. We tell ourselves things to justify the wrongdoings, right? Well, I'm just trying to feed my family. That, that's like the, the that's means, like the number means one justify quote. the end. Yeah, <laughs> that's the number one quote, right? Oh man, I'm just trying to take care of me and mine. I'll do whatever it takes, and that's the justification for the um, the life that you lead. I don't, I don't. Let's, I know he said sinning, but I, I don't know what what you believe in. So let's just omit that word and just call it um, for doing for wrongdoings. You know what I mean? And you try to justify it. To set because you you got to take care of your family or whatever the case may be. I thought that was such a beautiful way to uh, paint that imagery 
of justification for wrongdoings, man. Yeah. That's beautiful. But the, even just digging into that line, wash, wash winnings in bad women. He didn't say women. Yeah. Uh, in baptisms, right? When you think of a baptism, you're getting, mm -hmm. you know, dunked in water, right? Wash. But you're when you think of what he, what he's what he's saying is you're just throwing money on strippers. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You're just showering them mm -hmm. with money, right? So it's just like a, <laughs> like you know, and then it's like a baptism. Yeah. <laughs> And, and what you see here in this image is it knows right? It's, it's hilarious. And what you see here in this um, this uh, imagery right here, man, is this looks like a stripper with money and all all around her. She, she's in a pool of blood, so it's mm -hmm. blood money, yeah. right? You know what I mean? What what they did justifying sinning? They did a lot of sinning yep. in order to be able to throw this money at this stripper, man. So she's in a pool of blood, man. Mm -hmm. So I just think the imagery, along with what Ryan just said, mm -hmm. um, just the the means justifying the ends, the wrongdoings, justifying. You know what I'm saying? Where you're at. It's just, yeah, that was excellent. Shout out to the director. Um, if Stogie had a hand in this, shout out to him as well, man. This is super dope. It looks like a girl that's like, doesn't want to be there. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But she's doing what she has to do. She mm -hmm. thinks she has to do to justify the sinning. All right, man. Let's go ahead and finish this up. Wash winnings and bad bitches and baptisms justify sinning. A crooked light through a glass prism. For my kin, only price giving is packed prisons. High risk by dreams. That window thin is ice fishing. One oh. week we up, next we fight in addiction. I beat the old grave site visits with aunties. Uh. We try bum cheese up, but tight leash on my peeps and poverty won't leave us. Rolling trees up and cloning visas, the over eager scheme, a slow reader, but in them teachers, so broken genius. Dope dealer, low achiever, hold heaters, four seater, hoka torturing like a puzzle Peter. And if that don't float your boat, call Jesus. My compliments for the season. Yeah, he was in his bag, though. <laughs> he was in his bag. He got super loose on it. Yeah, he did. He was snapping. He was snapping. Yeah, I love that beat though. Shout out to Alchemist. Yeah. That sample. It is. This bag that he got into, right? Let me play it a little bit for y'all, man, just to kind of get back. Because this bag he was in was just so nice. Uh, obviously, the cadence was great. But the lyricism in this was was excellent. Virgins that mirror life in person, single mom deserted, kids are like a burden, dinner right for vermin. Winter nights they kill the lights, the chili bite like Durban. Past the sight, the sermon, the bounty of the eternal. The brain. Yeah. So I, I'm I'm gonna try to take a stab at this. I could be waiting. <laughs> but what did he say? So just getting into that though, just the imagery that he painted. Again, it's just like it mm. reminds me of Nas so much, man. It's just the way he's delivering it and just the vivid imagery, right? Yeah. He's just like, you know, kids are like a, vermin, a, a burden. You know what I'm saying? What do you say? Dinner dinner rife with vermin, mm. right? Rats and shit running yeah. around your house when you're trying yeah. to eat dinner and your kids are like a burden. You probably don't say it or maybe you do say it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to say <laughs> You know they know, they or, know or, or, or you or you definitely showcase it in some way you know what I'm saying that they're a burden to you the lights cut off you know it's a chilly chilly nights like yeah. Durban right it's just so you're freezing in your own house ain't the heat is off you know you're poor no mm -hmm. food food if you do have food got roaches in it like ghost facing uh yeah. all I got is you and shit yeah. <laughs> picking roaches out the cereal box <laughs> And then Stogie references the bounty of the eternal. I'm, I'm going to keep it real, man. I am just all for my, my uh, Bible study. So I'm, I'm going to take a stab at what I think it means from what I remember from this. I think it was Joseph that's uh, this, this passage was regarding. And Joseph was on his deathbed. And I think he told one of his sons when he was on his deathbed, he was kind of prophesizing what his son was going to have. And I think one of the sons, he told him, you know, you're not going to be rich, but you'll be rich. Uh, you're not going to be rich in, tip, in like material things, but you'll have something much better you'll have uh, a, an abundance of family, right? Mm -hmm. You'll be a great father or something. Something along those lines is what I think okay. Stogie is referencing, right? So he he comes off of all of this just depressing shit. You know what I'm saying? You know, motherfuckers, heat's cut off, no money, poverty, no people food. resenting their kids, no food. And then I think he's referencing the typical preacher that you would find in these neighborhoods. Um, as, I think it's a sign um, of hope. I think these preachers in these churches are trying to give these people that come from these, mm -hmm. these impoverished environments some hope in their sermons. He says the bounty of the eternal. I think what he's saying is like, you, we may not have money. Maybe the preacher is insinuating. We may not have money, but we have, we're rich in spirit. We're rich in, in the family that we have and love that we have. Yeah. So I think it's just Stogie's way of saying things are so bad that people are hanging on to their pastor's words as any type of, of any sign of hope to kind of help them see the light in a really bad situation is how I'm taking that line. That could be way the fuck off. And I may not even have had the fucking story right 
the Bible story. <laughs> but I, that's how I'm, that's how I'm attempting to define that. So shout out to Stogie, man. Got us thinking and shit. Another line, man, that I like that he uh, referenced here was when he said, "My kin um, is uh, the only." prize given is like pat prisons i may be misphrase phrasing that but that's like my people the only the only uh hope that we have is freaking packed prisons is a life of devious shit because he said after that pipe dreams of high risk dreams or something is that what he said yeah. high risk but basically high risk dreams you know pipe dreams is like if if you're gonna do something man i don't know man i'm about to grab a pack man if this don't work out this youtube shit don't work out i don't know man you might have to, you know, get a get a pack from Pablo or something, man, and start, you know, Rob a casino. You know what I'm saying? High risk, but high, uh, but but uh, high reward too, you know. So he ended that with saying that the um, the window is as thin as uh, ice fishing. As I ice fishing, right? Yeah. What he said, ice fishing. And man, that's true, right? High risk, but high fucking. Um, you could get high reward, but. You could end up in prison too, going back to the packed prisons. For my kin, this is the only way we think we can get out of it. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's do, let's do this pipe dream shit, man. Let's go ahead and, and fucking uh, rob this bank. Let's do this. Let's do that. Let's sell drugs, whatever the case may be. Yeah. High risk, but the risk is also high for you to be in jail. So that's why the window is very, very thin. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, it, you know, it could go really good. Ice. It can go really good, but it can go really bad, too. You and it, will, it most likely will go really bad. <laughs> Let me just rewind it again, bro. Yeah, please. To, to get, for him to get back into this last bag before he ended it, man. We try bum cheese up, but tight leash on my peeps and poverty won't leave us. Rolling trees up and cloning visas. The over-eager scheme, a slow reader, but in them teachers, so broken genius. Dope dealer, low achiever, hold heaters, four-seater, whole couture dripping like a paso peter. Yeah. And if that don't float your Boat called Jesus. Yeah, that whole oh, compliments that for the season. Whole oh, heater. Full seater. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Over schema. Over, over, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The over, over schema. Schema schema. yeah, he was snapping. He Teach was snapping. all genius. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I mean? Slow reader. Yeah. yeah. When he got into that scheme, that crazy scheme, and he said that uh, slow reader, but the teacher saw a broken genius, right? Um, I really feel like, man, that that is so true, man. Because if you if you look at, at and not that I'm 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 um, I, I don't want to let me make this disclaimer first. I'm not a drug dealer, nor have I ever studied it, nor will I ever study it. So I want to make that that disclaimer up front. But I will say, a good drug dealer can do a multitude of jobs mm -hmm. well, a multitude of jobs well. You know what I mean? So I really feel like. In um in the lifestyle of someone that's doing something that is um, risk management, dude, there's all kinds of shit. And accounting, accounting, <laughs> you know, you security, security? you fucking yeah. um <laughs> um what HR, uh -huh. you know what I'm saying? There's a, don't don't get me to break all the shit down. You got to do sales, you got to be salesperson, the HR, right. the uh the manager, the fucking that's CEO, right. operations, yep, operations, the driver, all kinds of shit. So if you can manage that business well, you, you know what I mean. There's there's a lot of um potential there and and when he says a broken genius the teacher saw a broken genius i thought that was a very well said line because there is genius in what you do it's just misguided it's misguided genius and it needs know? to be nurtured right you know, you know what i'm saying and if you get that person he or she if you get that person on the right path man that, they could do some amazing Potential. things in this potentials world, there you know but Which those is, those kids are often overlooked and, and discarded right, right? Mm -hmm. and and don't, don't have the access and resources and schools to really like nurture yep. what is intelligence there you know what i'm saying so i love that he brought light to that that was dope he brought that apostle peter line home i thought very well because he had, he also said before that that you know your whole couture is um dripping right like mm -hmm. apostle peter i believe couture mm -hmm. dripping like yep. your clothes you know yep. you're dressing nice you're dripping like apostle peter and he, then he said if that don't work call jesus yeah. you know what i'm saying like if scheming being in the streets or whatever the case may be because that's the lowest of the low like that is yeah. the last resort yeah right so that's what you're trying to do to get ahead when you feel like you have no other option so if that don't work you mean you better call jesus but it's also a reference to apostle peter who i think was trying was being called by jesus to walk on water and then amidst the storm right i think it was in he was in the middle of the storm in the middle of the sea to walk you know when he was walking mm -hmm. on water and he took his focus off of Jesus and then he drowned, right? So there's a metaphor in that, right? You're, like you're supposed to keep your eyes on the oh, Lord, man. right? And make sure you focus on Jesus at all times, regardless of what's going on in your life, what storms are brewing, because we all have our storms and peaks and valleys. Keep your eye on Jesus, you know what I mean? So uh, I think that's also Stogie way, Stogie T's way of, of saying, like, you know, maybe you should 
that should be your yeah, path. Yeah, that should be the path. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Is to seek to seek the Lord, to seek you know Jesus Christ or whatever the case may be. So I thought that that was very, very super dense and clever. Um, and just cadence wise, use their flow wise was good. He reminded me so much of Nas, and I'm gonna play. But to take us home, I'm gonna play. <laughs> I'm gonna play a song that's one of my favorite Nas songs in the bag that Nas was in. It's this slick sort of uh, picture painting, vivid thing that Nas does, man, with his rhymes, and yeah. he does, works works in multi syllable usage. Yep. He kind of jumps from one topic to the other, describing a scene. Right? You know, I mean, my man in the corner, Yankee hat tilted. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Leg on the wall, like, but it's just bah, 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 bah. Kind of like the, towards the end of this with the bag that Stogie T got into. So like, let me play it real quick. Mm. I know y'all hear y'all. What up, what up? What up? Part it's time, two. man. What up? Time. What up? Time, man. Yeah. I hear y'all. Set it off. Set it off, then, nigga. Set it, Set it off. off. Broken glass in the hallway. Bloodstained floors. Neighbors. Look at every bag you bring through your doors. Lock the top lock. Mama should have cuffed me to the radiator. Why not? It might have saved me later from my block and why cops. Hookers crawling off the stroke. Coughing stitches in their head. Stinking and I dread thinking they be snitching. But who else could it be? Shooker D's or Mark Vans parked in the dark. Knocks. Where's your heart? Hustle a star. They bust a you. You hear him. You, you just hear him painting mm. the picture of it, right? You know, hookers on a stroll and, you know, in unmarked vans. He's like, Knox, where's your heart? You know yeah. what I'm saying? Uh, you know what I'm saying? How you gonna ask the Knox? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, we out here. This is the only way we can make money. Knox, where's your heart, uh, man? Come on, you bagging up the, you know, young dude. So he painted such a quick, vivid, he painted such a vivid picture, but in fragments. Fragments here, very here, quickly, here, right? Here, here, bye, yep. bye, bye, bye. Hookers on the stroll. Yep. He said, Mama should have cuffed me to the radiator. Yep. Why not? It might have saved me later from my block. Yeah. Why cops, right? So it yep. was just. Brilliant, brilliant writing. It is. And that's how I felt yep. when Stogie T got in that bag. Four seater, whole heater. So, so something to think about, man. Make sure y'all, if y'all ain't up on Nas, man, go check out. He one of the illest to ever do it. Go check up, uh, you know, get catch up on Nas, man. Excellent uh, freestyle by yes, Stogie, man. Just a little, little tasty morsel. Yeah. You know what I mean? To kind of start the year off right. Because this mm -hmm. was uh, four days ago or something like that that he put this out. Yep. And he's coming. So I'm looking forward to see what Stogie does, uh, you know, in 2023, man. Shout out to everybody that requested that. That's the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I'm George. That's Ryan. Las Vegas. We Wait. out.